Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men that rule and teach well and that taught us this truth. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you fellow yoke laborers out there, unto the hopeful elect, unto the Bayash Dawada, unto Yizakwan Yahweh Akim, that are pushing this truth and sincerity and in truth wherever you may be scattered. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means He exists, that He is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means He delivers. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Hello Yumla, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. This is the brother Marar of the GMS Solomon Assembly Camp out here in upstate New York. And I just want to do a lesson. <clears throat> you know, it's a lot going on through the spirit. Turn this uh, background music down a little bit. You no, know, it's a lot. It's a lot going on through the spirit. You know, with the uh, with the drought over there in California, like, like you know, we're in hurricane season. There's constantly earthquakes. There's every day. Yahabashim Yahushai is passing forth his judgment in the earth. Okay, so I want to go into this article. Uh, Maybe show a video or two, bring out some precepts. This is from shtfplan.com. Food shortages becoming as obvious as the higher prices. Okay, so you know this is this is going to be the norm. So get used to seeing uh, shelves empty. You know, get used to you might have to go to two, three, four different stores to find what you need <clears throat> due to stores not being properly stocked. You know, people have an illusion that everything is going to be okay, that everything is going back to normal. No, you, no. Okay. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is getting ready to smite Egypt with plagues as before. And one of the plagues is going to be a mass famine, okay, inflation, which is going to result in higher food prices and ultimately hyperinflation. It's going to result in two insane food prices, okay. Even the everyday complacent American is now noticing the price increases at their grocery store and that certain foods are, are often unavailable for purchase. Yeah, I man, I had went to, you know, uh, the store the other day, you know, pick up some food, okay, and I only got like, what, three, four items, 20 bucks, you know. So, yeah, people are going to definitely fill it in their pockets um, when it's time to go and get food, man. This will likely not be close to be. This will not. <clears throat> this will likely not be close to being resolved in the coming months, but will worsen. If you have been waiting for some reason to prepare, now is the best time to start. And the best way to, to prepare is to uh, run into the strong tower. Okay, which the name of the heavenly Father is the key to salvation. Okay, it's like the key to the door, man. You need the name. It's very important. Okay, so. Before you, you know, prepare cornerly, you have to prepare spiritually, okay? This is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, and verse 10. The name of Yahweh Bahashim Shai is a strong tower, the righteous running into it, and is safe, okay? So imagine, <clears throat> imagine you're, you know, you're just out there, and you see this, this beautiful, well-guarded uh, uh, fortress, man. Okay, and, and you have an army following after you, you know, and, and, and you just want to get inside for their protection. Well, that's how the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's how mighty it is. We have tons of testimonies, you know, brothers, the apostles, the elders, I myself, I'm calling upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and being <clears throat> delivered, which helps to build our faith. And then we put out testimonies to build the faith of the sheep that are listening. Okay, so call upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Repent of your sins. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Okay, turn back unto the Lord. Love, love Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Understand that the fashion of this world is swiftly passing away. Okay, it's, it's, there's no future here, man. Okay, Every, everything is dying. The land is utterly polluted, cursed, uh, defiled with, with blood, 
Okay, everything is fake here, man. The woman is fake, the food is fake, the water is fake. All right, the fucking, uh, everything is fake here, man. Okay, this will likely not be close to being resolved in the coming months, but what worsen. If you have been waiting for some reason to prepare, now is the best time to start prepping for the upcoming government induced food shortages. Yeah, what they're going to do is <clears throat> they're going to attempt to control the sheeple through food and you know, to make you get the, the juice. You know, if you take the juice or if you take the karagma, you know, we'll allow you to eat. You know, the mainstream media keeps trying to blame this on a virus, but I last checked. The virus didn't bark orders to impoverish yourselves and lock yourself in your home with no way to generate an income. It was the world's governments and those willing to blindly obey without question who helped destroy the supply chain and the economy. All right, and that shows you how fragile this system really is. It's like a, a house of cards, all right, a house built upon sand, okay? That is only one of, uh, one of the many reasons I continue to call the government what it truly is slavery okay it says it wasn't the virus that crashed the economy it was the people who obeyed <laughs> the government yeah because you people are keeping the lie going you know it is unwinding in some cases we're seeing similar effects from the first few months of the pandemic yeah man they they uplifted the so-called mass mandate Yet you still have people riding with their mask on, no one else in the car. <laughs> you know, so these uh, Babylonians are Americans, or brain dead, okay? Some of it is in reverse, said Dan Kow Kow Kowalski, Vice President of Cobank's Knowledge Exchange Division. Cobank provides loans and other financial services to the United States rural community early in the pandemic. Some shoppers heading to the grocery store to stockpile food and other items were greeted with empty shelves. According to a report by Market, Market Watch, businesses worked feverishly to shift distribution away from restaurants, cafeterias, and other away from home dining venues that are now off limits during lockdowns. There's a part of the economy that's been relatively quiet for the last year that's reopening, said Shelley Lewis. Vice President and Senior Credit Officer at Moody's, the part of the economy of the economy <clears throat> that was quiet is revving up at a faster pace than the manufacturer thought at the beginning of the year. That's the rebalancing that's happening in the supply chain. Even pet items seem to be selling out and the prices are jumping. All right, Summit Singh, the chief executive of pet care retailer Chewy Inc., said on late Thursday earnings call that a high level of out of stock items were a headwind during the most recent quarter. This is clearly a supply driven situation, which we expect to abate in the second half of this year as additional production capacity comes online, he said. According to facts that transcript, until then we will keep actively managing our inventory and using our recommendation engines to help customers find attractive alternatives other retailers say there's a labor sh labor shortage and demand is increasing that's right there's all sorts of jobs out there man you know there's all sorts of jobs out there and do the spirit and poverty hall by shimmy outside one of the elders put in the chat you know for brothers to not get complacent with unemployment you know go find you a job you know get you a job get you a hustle work the apps you know don't get complacent man because <clears throat> pretty soon in order to keep that you know, which they're going to cut it off, you know, in order for you to keep it, they could say you have to take the juice, which they can do that with a job as well, okay, but, um, and also, you know, one of the elders from Atlanta, Atajuan, the brother did a beautiful video on a man should have an edge about himself, man, so you don't want to be complacent, just laying on your ass, collecting unemployment, man, you know, learn your trade, get you a skill, learn new things, okay, work out, Okay, really prepare your mind. You know, now we're not telling you to uh to doomsday prep, but with everything that's going on, it would be very wise. You know, if you got some cash, go and get some things, man. Okay, the prices is going to skyrocket, or it might not be there when you go back. Okay, it's going to get to the point where there's going to be blood in the aisles, man. People are going to be fighting over the uh, tuna packets, all right? Beef, meat sticks, man. Chips, baby formula. Pampers, 
all right <laughs> beef pork sausages man chicken okay so they can feed themselves man there's no shortage of demand from consumers but there continues to be shortages of labor equipment and shipping capacity to meet the demand said jonathan gold vice president for supply chain and customs policy at the organization supply chain disruptions port congestion and rising shipping costs could continue to be challenges through the end of the year okay stay alert and remain prepared with the supply chain already hampered it wouldn't take much for the entire thing to come crashing down as people panic remember when they panic over the flu and brought out all the toilet paper exactly okay so this is going to create a mass panic a mad rush to the store all right just like last year man long ass lines at costco's and also you can't forget how many people are still relying on food banks man food banks is to the point where food banks are running out of food so you won't be able to go to a church or a food bank man okay that should have been a lesson to everyone to make sure you have at least a whole package as a spare get what you need now as things look like they could get tight this summer and into fall the prices are going one way and if you're not prepared when they jump even higher you may not be able to get prepared okay so that's pretty much the uh the article you know not too long but hey you how about shimmy i was shy he's gonna smite this place with a terrible famine man and you know, a lot of people are gonna starve man okay actually let's go we're gonna jump around from 15 16 second edge is 15 i'm gonna jump all the way down And verse 55, the reward of thy whoredom shall be in thy bosom, therefore shalt thou receive recompense. And that's what's going to happen to Babylon, Babylon the Great, all right, the whore that sitteth upon many waters, man. Okay, like as thou hast done unto my chosen, which the chosen of the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Cubans, Mexicans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, we make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel said Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, even so shall the Most High do unto thee, and shall deliver thee unto mischief. Now this is going to turn unto you heathens, man. You're getting ready to be given over to mischief, man. Okay, you Idumians, okay, you, you Moabites, you Ishmaelites, all you heathen nations, okay. Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword, wars, uh, the destruction, okay. Uh, rioting, looting, purge. Okay, they're getting ready to release their new purge, the forever purge, man. I was watching the trailer, you know, after the, the purge ended, people thought they were safe. But nah, man, you just had people that just kept it going. <laughs> okay, and that's the time that we're coming into, man. They're releasing all of these apocalyptic movies. You know, art imitates life, and they're showing you people the scenarios you're going to be in and how... You want to be reacting, and, and they also showing you how to act, okay? Because ultimately, there's no amount of prepping that can prepare you for the day of Yahweh Hashem and Shai. That's the pride of Idumia, okay? There's nothing you can do, man. You just have to pray that Yahweh Hashem and Shai is with you, and his guardian angels are with you and your, and your family, okay? Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, okay? In which these cities they're they're fucking through all right drugs um rats roaches crime okay <laughs> unemployment okay and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field they that be in the mountains because you have a lot of people that is that that you know get out the city you know because they've they've been they've been left the city they're still leaving you know they're gonna get up in these mountains these rural areas through caves, okay, underground, all right, tunnels and shit. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger. They're going to starve, man, and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water, okay? And this is judgment on the wicked, okay? This is judgment on the wicked because even through all, all of these things are going to be going on, Yahweh Shem Shai is going to allow the elect to to be protected, to be scarcely saved. 
okay? Second Ezra 16, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine. This is what we're witnessing, man. The beginning of it and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay, and again, the Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh Shem Shai is a strong tower, the righteous running it to it and it's safe. Okay, behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Amendment is correction, man. But even for all these things, but actually, it's lucky, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So they ain't going to. They ain't going to call it to mind, man. They're going to still be stuck in their wicked uh, ways. They're still going to be burnt in their lust. Okay? Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall thank themselves to be in a good case. Okay? And right now, you know, you can still go to uh, fast food, you know, Wendy's, you know, <coughs> KFC, uh, Taco Bell, Donald's Burger King, you know, Five below, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, you know Walmart, you know a lot of a lot of these places you can still go, but guess what? It's gonna to get to a point where they ain't gonna be cheap because victuals are goods. You're gonna see prices prices skyrocket through hyperinflation. Okay, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Okay, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. <laughs> it's gonna be bad, man. They just released a show, uh, Black Summer on Netflix. You know, I highly recommend you go and check that out. Okay, I also highly recommend you check out this movie Awake on Netflix, man. Okay, I want to play this video. <clears throat> So it should rotate. Okay, whatever. That is missing in comparison to last week when I went. I'll play from the beginning. That is missing in comparison to last week when I went. So as you can see, man, people are putting videos of, of uh, food shortages. Okay, and through the spirit, I want to play this video. Okay, what the uh, farmers are going through. All right. We're waiting for their pastures to green up to turn cattle out. Caressa Stinchcomb shares the tough decision these men and women are now having to make. Our situation is getting pretty dire, ugly. North Dakota has been in a drought since May 2020. Right now, 77% of the state is in an extreme drought and 18% is in an exceptional drought. For the last year, ranchers have hoped for any moisture they can get to green up their pastures, but it hasn't come. And that means ranchers are being forced to sell their cattle. Well, normally this time of the year, uh, we'd probably be looking at four to 600 head for, for a regular sale. And we'd a lot of times be every other week on Sunday and Monday, more than 4,200 head of cattle were sold at Rugby Dock and Auction. We've had, you know, normal sales in the winter uh, during the height of the marketing season, but we've had 5,000, so it's not a... a it's not totally unheard of, except for June. As the drought continues, the price of hay and corn has gone way up. It's more expensive for ranchers to try and supplement feed than it is to just sell the cattle. David Bull has already sold 200 of his head in the last month.
They're in the same situation. They're going to have to sell probably 25 to 50 percent of them because there's nowhere to go with them. I mean, they've just got no feed to feed them. It's devastating for ranchers who are receiving about $1.60 per pound instead of $2 they were receiving during good times. And the cycle may not end for a while. The calves ain't growing like they should because they're not on grass and the cow don't have as much milk. So, and if you don't feed them good feed, the cows ain't going to get milk. Looking ahead, if the drought continues, there won't be anything to feed the cows during the winter, which would force them to make a more drastic move. Six months from now, we got, if we have to sell all our cattle, there's going to be a lot of people that, a lot of ranchers that won't be back ranching again. They're just going to be either broke or their older people will just retire, and there won't be a lot less people that are ranching. While ranchers are losing money now, they say it'll be consumers who are losing in the long run because they'll be forced to pay higher prices at the grocery store. Well, they're talking about the packing plants and their margin of profit compared to what the rancher is getting paid for and what the consumer is bending across the counter. There's something wrong. <laughs> There's something wrong. You go in, look at the meat counter, ribeye steaks are at $16 a pound, and the rancher's getting seven, dollars $800 for his calves. So something's not fair. Reporting for KX News and Rugby, I'm correct. Yeah, man, so there you have it. It's drought, you know, it's really affecting the western half of, of, of America. These farmers having to sell their cattle at lower prices. Price of food is skyrocketing. Okay, let's prophecy, man. Let's go to um, <clears throat> Second Edges fifteen. This is second edges fifteen. And verse ten. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, right? And the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're being led as a flock to the slaughter, man. By Judas goats. Okay? By by false prophets. Okay, by your so-called idols, man, your, your, your stars, your, your puff daddies, your Tyler Perry's, if you will, man, telling you to take this juice, telling you to trust in science, okay, by, by the nigger woman, okay, you're being led as a flock to the slaughter, man, to be be executed, to be tortured, okay, to, to starve, man, okay, to take the karagma and get nuked, all right, but it says, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with what? Uh, bondage. Captivity. Okay. It's dealing with the Israelites, man. We were in bondage in ancient Egypt. Okay. Now the modern day Egypt is America. The modern day Pharaoh is the Idumean. Okay. So the Lord's not going to suffer the elect to dwell here. Okay. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Okay. And that mighty hand is what? The chariots of Israel, man, what the world would deem as unidentified aerial phenomena. Okay, but us in the truth, man, we know that those are the chariots of Israel. Those are our salvation ships. Okay, it says, as before, and destroy all the land thereof, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that Yahweh Bahashim Shai shall bring upon it. So the Lord is smiting this place, man, all right, droughts, all right, uh, uh, crops are being, you know, massive crop failure, and farmers quitting the business, <laughs> okay, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell, and with a fearful consolation, he said they've been in a drought for a year, or more than a year, almost a year and a half, okay, that's a fearful constellation, man, Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw it nigh. So what you think is going to happen, man? Okay? Because when it comes down to uh, a me or you situation, 
you're gonna have people um you don't have people at each other's throats okay like it says in Matthew like the love of many shall wax cold cold hearted okay and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in your hands yeah people gonna go against the government different races different cities different uh, parties that they voted for Democrat Republican all right leftists <laughs> okay people that voted for Biden for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes right and like I said in the previous video how that that French president thought he was fucking next top model okay thought he walked up to a fan and the guy smacked his ass man he put his hands on the president <laughs> okay so it's gonna get like that out here people not gonna care about what the police gotta say the chief of police the mayor the governor no one okay and the course of their actions shall stand and their power just like the purge all crime legal okay a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able right be either because through uh demolition okay through the through the army knocking out a bridge or setting up uh blockades or besieges or checkpoints or choke points okay for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And we'll guess that it's very spiritual because we're in what? So-called Pride Month. They just released a police uh, car with a, with a, in, the, in the fucking Pride Month alphabet theme. Okay? The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Okay? And this applies to men and women. So if men are going to be afraid, how much more women, okay, who don't have that testosterone the instincts of a man and survival you see a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor right the love of many shall wax cold man all right but shall destroy their houses with the sword right if hey man it's gonna be gangs of people out here just going door to door taking whatever you got okay and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation that's what's coming great tribulation is coming okay this is the book of Amos chapter 4 and verse 6 and I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and want of bread in all your places now a want of bread is a famine okay now if you have cleanness of teeth what do you do after you eat you brush your teeth you you um you goggle your mouthwash, you know, you get yourself together, you floss, okay, but if you, you're not eating, <laughs> and of course, you still have to brush your teeth, but you ain't gonna have to floss, you ain't gonna need a toothpick, man, you ain't gonna need to brush your teeth very often, because you're not eating, okay, yet you have not returned it to me, said Yahweh Shemel Shai, and also, I have withhold, I have withholding the rain from you, when there were yet three months of the harvest, and I caused it to rain upon one city, and caused it not to rain upon another okay droughts massive droughts strategically man okay one piece was rained upon and the piece whereupon it rained not withered okay see what these elites are trying to do they're trying to control 